it's not just Austin employees leaving work early this Friday ahead of the president's visit. We'll tell you about a new round of early dismissals. First tonight, two years after a drunk driver killed four people at South by Southwest, Austin police are refining their safety plan for this year's festival. It includes making a number of changes to the operations in downtown Austin, but will the new plan sacrifice safety in other parts of the city? KXAN's Robert Maxwell investigates. March 13, 2014, Austin police officer Lewis Trailer's patrol car dash camera shows driver Rashad Owens plowing through a crowd of festival goers. To avoid a repeat in 2015, at every access point to the Spring Festival Zone, police replaced thin metal and plastic barricades with water-filled barriers and marked police cars. At this year's South By, some of those water barriers will be gone. Instead, police say you'll see two patrol cars at every major barricade point. That's because they'll be reopening both 6th and Red River Streets along with Rainy Street at certain times during the festival to help with traffic flow. Last year, though, a KXAN investigation revealed moving nearly 90 police vehicles downtown meant patrol officers in other parts of Austin doubling up in one car. That shouldn't happen this year, we're told, to keep response times on track. We weren't planning for it like we were this year, so it's not creating the same types of challenges. Also new this year, 6th Street, the hub of South By, will have a 20-foot wide emergency lane for first responders. That may bring to an end masses of people crisscrossing the closed street wherever they want. I think that'll help or hinder traffic? Um, I think it'll probably, I mean, the streets are closed and uh, they're messed up anyway. You know, I really don't, don't think it'll have any bearing. APD confirms 175 officers a day will be working South by Southwest patrols, jumping to as many as 300 on the final music weekend. That includes 120 officers just working crowd control and is about the same as last year. In Austin, Robert Maxwell, KXAN, investigates. There are also many agencies that take part in the festival to keep everyone safe. For example, code enforcement officials work with the Austin Fire Department, APD, and TABC to crack down on overcrowding and permitting issues. They're called PACE teams. Officials say they put in a lot of hours to make sure parties and events don't get out of hand. In 2013, they investigated more than 300 violations at the festival. And